the Studio 2A, joined this week by the artists appearing on uh, Volume 1 of the Lonesome Desert Tucson Country Blues compilation. Chris Hall, Austin Counts, Freddie Parrish, Tom Wellbank, and Hank Topless will be with us for the next hour in Studio 2A. So without further ado, take it away, guys. Thank you. 
right. Hey. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. huh? I'm Austin Counts, and uh, yeah, we're all coming out with a compilation called uh, Lonesome Desert, Country, Tucson Country Blues, Volume 1. And uh, that's my song, Low Country Home, there. And, you know, we all kind of all are here, kind of, we get to this path because of the things that go on in our lives. And I know each and every one of us all really right from the heart and soul. And, you know, that song there, it's a song about uh, being pulled out of my, my mother's home when we were growing up in South Carolina when uh, she's found out to be a heroin addict and everything. So it's, you know, it comes from a real, you know, personal place. I mean, it's most certainly the blues. So. You know, I know you guys are you guys have got the blues too, so who wants to who wants to go next? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Donald jump at once. <clears throat> who are you? Chris Hall here. I'm gonna do a song called Old Chevy. <laughs> song uh it's about your hometown wherever that may be leaving it loving it hating it you know yeah definitely all of that <laughs> leaving, seems to be a common emotion yeah. coming <laughs> back <laughs> yeah, yeah, wanting to leave hating leaving coming back that's 
like the 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 old story of Tucson there, right? Yeah. Like everybody hates Tucson, yeah, and then yeah. they even go somewhere else, and they come back and like, wow, this they place call was it pretty good. The you Tucson know? curse. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> so much they love Tucson. <laughs> or bless blessing. <laughs> Whichever way you look at it. Well, what do you got, Freddie? Um, well, there's an. There probably isn't a blue note in this song, but the lyrics are pretty blue. <laughs> the third is you're singing. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this song's um, this song's about living in a in a house that by yourself that used to be full of love. It's called the house still looks the same. How will I ever stop missing you? Will I ever do anything I used to? Without you with me Cause I can't bring myself to cook at home Or look a waitress in the eye when she has just one so I stick to the bars But I stay away from the same old haunts I don't want to see the man that I once was On your own and everything has been definitely one that I'd listen to and be like wow there's really something here with this one the songwriting on that's pretty damn awesome thank you very much so awesome. we're, we're uh, what's what's behind that song there is that a is that a uh, true story there or 
Oh, I mean, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Rip That's open what... your heart and put it on the table. <laughs> You're on the air. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put yeah. some salt in the wound. <laughs> so, hey, man, that's the wound, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, what you got, Hank? All right. Number one, thanks for having me on this. Hey, Austin. And thanks for being a part of this. I'll do a little thing right now called December Girl. Sitting on a plane Slowly waiting on the rain I fought to understand the world Thought of my December girl Cocaine's for horses and it's not for men You know it's gonna get you but you don't know when I was just as wrong as I could get I had another cigarette Oh yeah, yeah, yeah So dark and the sidewalk's dead So I just hit a pipe instead Oh yeah, yeah, yeah
You're tuned in to 91.3 KXCI Tucson. This is Locals Only, and I am very pleased to be joined in Studio 2A by all of the performers who are on the inaugural Lonesome Desert compilation. So, gentlemen, thanks again for coming down tonight. Hey, thanks for having us. And Austin, thanks for doing my job better than I ever could. This has been great. You're you're a natural. It's uh, all uh, all the money I spent on uh, a journalism degree is actually coming to use right now. Perfect. All right. (laughs) So where did the idea for this compilation come from? Uh, Well, you know, we we all play around town and everything, and I've seen these guys out, like, either seen shows with them, played shows with them, and these guys, I find each one of these people to be fantastic and uh, kind of underappreciated, I believe, in the Tucson music scene and beyond. And, it, you know, it just seemed like a good thing to do of trying to get everybody together uh, and start trying to put out a compilation and have that compilation lead to full-length albums and start trying to put our music out there and take what we're doing uh, all around Tucson and outside of the th- uh, outside of the area and hopefully be getting all around the region and uh, touring around and putting this out. Excellent. So what was the first step? Once you identified the group of artists that you wanted to bring together on this, what was the next step? Well, it was. it really all started with realizing after I put out my, my first EP last, uh, <laughs> last year that there wasn't many labels that were dealing with this style of music and definitely nothing that's here in the Southwest, right. which seemed really odd to me because there are a ton of people who play this kind of music. Mm-hmm. And so it just, you know, that seemed to be the, the next step was to try to get a label going, find the people that I thought that would be really good for, for starting out here and, you know, just put it down. I didn't even know if this was going to really work out or not or how far this was going to go. And, you know, I'm I'm just happy with how well this has uh, come together. It's been put together, and and the um, the the support behind it so far, and before we've even released it, has been really excellent. So, how did you go about recording uh, this compilation? Well, we went to uh, Midtown Island Studio with uh, Matt Rendon, mm-hmm. and uh, we started. Uh, yeah, just set up some sessions down there, and basically, you know. Put the money down. Told these guys uh, I got studio time here and go in and go record. And that was it. Is that you know just basically go in, record as much as you can in a couple hours and everything, and see what we can come up with. And and you know it was it worked out really well, better than I could have ever planned. Best money I've spent so far. <laughs> Did you give any guidance to these guys about you know when they went to lay down their tracks? Uh, you know what what your vision was for what kind of tracks you expected to end up on the album or what kind of sound you're going for? Or did you just turn everyone loose and let I just take care of turned everyone loose? I mean, I'm, I'm not in, like, these guys can give me guidance, you know, yeah. I, you know it's, uh, you know, I'm, I look at it like I've seen all these guys play before. I, I know what they do. I know what they're about. And, you know, I thoroughly enjoy their music and it was, you know, just put them in the studio, put a mic in front of them and and do it that way i think that there's something very honest about just being able to be a singer songwriter and be playing blues or be playing country or or what whatever it could be Mm -hmm. and really just be able to tell a tale have it be there in your voice have it be there in your guitar without having to have a bunch of effects without having to have a bunch of production on top of it and without it trying to be something that's uh that's trying to you know be the thing so to Mm -hmm. speak uh, I draw a lot of imp- inspiration from uh, our Huli records that did a lot of recording in this this way of uh, you know they go around and find blues uh, blues acts country blues acts or just whatever in the South mm-hmm. at the time and uh, and record them and that was it just put a microphone in there two microphones and and record it and what you got is what you got and you just did a couple different takes and mm-hmm. and that's it you take the best take out of it and uh, and move it right along there you go and yeah. uh, that. Ethos uh, is translated here on a, on a terrific compilation. Uh, Lonesome Desert uh, is the record label and uh, the name of the new compilation, Volume 1, Tucson Country Blues. Uh, and uh, tell us about the release show. So the release show is coming up next Saturday uh, at the Flycatcher at, starting at 8 p.m. It's uh, $5 to get in. Uh, you, get a, you got your choice of getting a CD, a cassette tape, or a digital download. 
The album is currently up on iTunes right now, and so if a person, it's only four ninety nine on iTunes, same price as uh, as going to the show. Mm -hmm. If you buy it before the show, that's your ticket to basically get in. All you gotta do is bring your phone in and show that it's that you bought it, and you're in. You know, so that's the that's the whole idea is just trying to get people down there to the Flycatcher this Saturday, and uh, you know, put this music in the people's hands, and hopefully they'll be listening. There you go. Well, speaking of. Oh, sorry, so just Tom. Quick shout out to uh, Wooden Tooth Records, who uh, uh, partnered with Austin to put the tape right. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, yeah! Great, great, yeah. Yeah. great record show. <laughs> yeah. no, they, uh, Baby Tooth Records is uh, Baby Tooth is what they're, they're, they're. Yeah, that's their their their, uh, their cassette line and everything. And those guys have been crazy busy lately putting out some. Didn't yeah. they? they just it's like Kinda every sets. other week, or and if not every week, yeah. Mm -hmm. Baby Tooth is putting something out, and that's. I don't know. I, I think that that's fantastic here for I mean for the Tucson community. We have such a rich music scene out here, and it's it's different from most places that you go to. And yeah. there's just so much talent in this area. So to actually see people putting out this music and trying to get it out there into the hands of people is is amazing to me. I'm just happy to be a part of it. Well, speaking of getting the music out there, we're gonna start another round here. Uh, whoever wants to pick up the baton and, and start with it here. We're going to do another round of uh, tracks. Uh, again, we've got Chris Hall with us. We've got Austin Counts. We've got Freddie Parrish. We've got Tom Albank, and we've got Hank Topless all here uh, in Studio 2A, and all of those artists are performing on uh, this Lonesome Desert compilation. All right. What do you think? You want to do, uh, <clears throat> want to do St. Peter? Or you want to do, well, I guess we don't have the shape for that. Let's, uh, let's go to Pima County Jail. What do you say? Yep. So this song here, this is uh, this is from my my EP that was released last year, and this is about uh, my experiences of uh, being in the Pima County Jail. And you know, if you mess up so many times in the county jail, you're gonna find yourself in solitary confinement. Oh, yeah. And, when, and that was actually what happened was was that I was there, and then there's a supposed to be on work release. I had stashed a car at the the uh, bus station right next to uh, right next to the the mall down there, Tucson Mall, and you know I'd take the bus when on work release, and then go jump in my car and go over to my girlfriend's house at the time or whatever. Well, this lasted all of one day before I got caught. <laughs> when I got back to jail that night, they were like, "Now nah, you're going to this place they call the Fish Bowl in the Mission, right?" And so the Fish Bowl is basically like if you messed up in the dorm area there and everything you go to the fishbowl right and then you, you stay there until like like they have this kind of like judicial process that happens so like they'll be like the main ceo and he's going to judge what what you did and can you get back on work release well i was already in there for two weeks and they got a thing in jail called the keister bunny and if you don't know what the keister bunny is <laughs> Keister Bunny is when somebody's bringing in uh, li something something that's not supposed to be in the jail and they're wrecked them. Yeah. And so, you know. I think they call the, that your prison wallet. Yeah, right. <laughs> so somebody had smuggled in some Real cigarettes. <laughs> this is really going really great. Yeah, well, you know, hey, you know, Let's have some cigarettes. You know, somebody smuggled in some cigarettes and then that time I got, you know, as everybody's taking a drag, I ended up being the one guy taking the drag as the CEO in the area comes walking by the wall sees me and because of that they sent me right to solitary confinement and i did the rest of my time and there was about 25 days so without any further ado this song's called pima county jail when you get out of line Put your hands on somebody When you get out of line What do in your time At Pima County Jail Won't go to the first floor Inmate processing Won't go to the second floor Cell block to F and G Won't go to the mission Get the work release. You're headed straight up elevator, at least to 4D. Yes, it's so damn lonesome and solitary. But it's so damn lonesome and 
solitary. Shackle from head to toe now. Turn around and put your hands right through that slot. See, yo ain't gonna let you out until you're good in your cage. You're just gonna stay there for 23 and a half hours a day. Last 30 minutes. Got to shower and shave now. You might not get that time if it comes to see your shave change. Said it's so damn lonesome and solitary. Yes, it's so damn lonesome and solitary. Hit him again, Tom. This guy makes me sound good. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Chris, what do you think, man? Uh, what you got for us? All right. I'll play another one off the compilation. This one's called To Do. That don't make a man, it's true. 
true But you got a lot of fighting left in you You got a lot of loving left to do Sparkling eyes prove it every morning when the sun comes shining through. You used to wander half drunk alleys without a goddamn clue. But you got a lot of loving left. coming out here pretty soon definitely we're, we're getting uh yeah that's uh, what we got six songs on there i the think so, the yeah. thing is golden i cannot wait to get that one released that's yeah, you know, same here man i appreciate it yeah, yeah. some more of uh hang stuff from the session i'll ask you <laughs> <laughs> were there some more songs you recorded at the uh at the session oh this sir this man right here has got a full length coming out here uh within probably the next two months that's yeah, we've got it all mixed down and everything. This was actually an honest question. It sounds like <laughs> hey, by the way, <laughs> your check's in the mail, Tom, by the way. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I did. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about it a little more in a second. Freddie, you got one for us here? I'll, sure. Uh, let me close it out. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, talk good. about uh, what Austin's done for me here. Let's, let's hear you right now, buddy. All right, this is another one I did on the... The compilation, it's called Downstream. I wrote it after I watched the movie Deliverance. What you've done, you're right here in the sun, your hands all red with blood. And you already know that you can't lie to me anymore. And as you flirt with your world of hurt and you think that you're pretty tough. But that's all they taught you, baby, and it's not enough. No, it's not enough. Cause downstream, what you done's gonna surface again in the way Aiden, Aiden will drag you down The water's getting higher and you're a better liar than you ever were and you already know that you can't lie to me anymore. Feel the sand running through your hand as you hold your mark of cane. Cause it's your protection, baby, from hard, hard rain. From hard rain. Cause downstream, what you've done is gonna surface again in the way Aiden. Alone will drag you down. Alone will drag you down. And downstream, what you 
dawn's gonna surface again in the way Aiden, a long will drag you down A long will drag you down Drag you down, down, down Drag you down Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and do another one here uh, off the compilation. I uh, kind of think I'll, if you don't mind, I, I will take just a second to, sure. to plug what uh, Tom brought up here. Uh, I did a couple sessions uh, at uh, Midtown Island uh, for, for Austin. Uh, and so the first one, we wound up with a couple songs for the compilation. And then uh, he said, how about you do a few more? So it sounds like we'll be coming out with an album of my stuff. Uh, and those songs will be kind of a mixture of older and newer. Uh, and the two songs from the, from the uh, compilation will also be on that album. But uh, this song is uh, the second one I did on the comp. This is called No Phoenix Blues. It's a reworking of an old song uh, that I did with the band many, many years ago. And I, it's not one that I've done uh, in my solo style a lot. So we kind of reworked it a little bit. It goes like this. Here I am This is where my trip began If I can, I stay away Fountain of my yesterdays Fountain of my yesterdays No phoenix when I'm stoned Now you know it ain't my home When we left I took it hard The ashes in the old backyard The ashes in the old backyard Maricopa County line Makes me lonesome every time Maricopa County line Makes me lonesome every time No Phoenix, it's all gone Now no I don't belong Cause it ain't golden anymore Weeds are flowing across the floor Weeds are flowing across the floor A miracle county line Makes me lonesome every time A miracle county line Makes me lonesome every time No phoenix drifting by Tears to cry. And our old past, our own old attempt. Cause the life I live is a dead. I hate them goddamn Phoenix Blues. So I'm gonna keep on driving through. 
right past 7th Avenue. I'll bear up off the county line. Makes me lonesome every time. Bear up off the county line. Makes me lonesome every time. Long, 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 dee 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 dee. KXCI Tucson. This is Locals Only, and I have been joined by the artists appearing on the Lonesome Desert Volume 1 compilation, Tucson Country Blues. Uh, we've got Chris Hall, Freddie Parrish, Tom Walbank, Austin Counts, and Hank Topless. Uh, and the release is going to be on Saturday over at the Flycatcher. You know, Austin, you were, we were talking before about uh, the impetus behind this. Uh, um, not only this record, but this record label, but it, and it's very much a local affair. I mean, just looking over the the liner notes you mentioned before, recording with Matt and you know Pat Foley over at Cream Design doing the the layout and, and all of that. And uh, I, I, tell me, what uh, what would you like to see if you could flash forward to six months, six months from now, twelve months, eighteen months? What would you like to see? You know, when people see a, a lonesome desert release or they hear about lonesome desert what do you what do you want them to associate with that name in a year i hope that they they associate it with some some good honest down home music that when they pick up much like when i go when i find like an arhuli record mm -hmm. like we were discussing before right. like and when i see anything by that label i know it's going to be good and i pick it up and i buy it and usually now they're like up to like 30 40 bucks an album you know when i when i find them out there and everything and that's kind of the same thing that i want to have with this is that when someone sees the lonesome desert label that they know that it's not going to be any junk on there it's going mm -hmm. to be something uh something from the heart something well written and going to be a bit more down home and and you know like straight to the bone kind of thing so yeah. that's that's what i'm after with this that's what i'd like I, at the same time too i also would like it that where all of us could, you know, be out and doing touring, touring around town, getting us out there, getting it out to, to, to people that in smaller communities around Arizona and, and New Mexico, Colorado, Nevada, get just getting it out there to the people and us being able to make some money off of that. I mean, not that it's all about the money, but when it really comes down to it, though, is it's like, you know, you want to get paid for what you do and sure. you, you want to, you know, it's the only way that we're able to really continue doing all this is being able to go out and gig and, and make a couple extra bucks. So, you yeah. know, that's it. And now you control the means of production here. So, well, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's pretty easy to do. I mean, yeah. in, in the sense of like what we're doing, I mean, because it is just going to the studio and sure. Matt will set up some mics and it's like, all right, you either got it or you don't got it. And yeah. all these guys got it. And that's kind of the, the thing is that there are no overdubs or isn't anything like that. It isn't any trying to major production or anything like that. It is the artist and what they are about. Yeah. And with that being said, because we, we've kind of glossed over this, though, but Tom has got two amazing tracks on this album, and I like I was unsure of the format here, and I told Tom only to bring his harmonicas and not a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, was, I was expecting so, Tom to sing tonight for us. So. Uh, you know, I, I actually just don't tell him. I didn't want Tom to show me up. So. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That was a good strategy. <laughs> no, no, I, I mean, I feel really bad about that, but Tom is like, uh, Tom is my mentor here. Like, I, I wouldn't be even playing if it wasn't for tom tom would uh tom would come over to the deli and uh you know we got into talking about uh blues music and everything and then mm -hmm. little by little tom was giving me some lessons here and there and all that and i kind of started working with it and everything and then at one point in time tom was like oh so i'm going out of town uh can you fill in some gigs for me over at sky bar and I was almost going to do an impression. <laughs> I can tell you were right on the verge. You were so close. I can't even get there, buddy. You were so but, close. And so, and so <laughs> it's going to be like deliverance all over again. Pop is just dead, too. I touched the nerve, sorry. Anyway, like, so Tom, you know, he 
basically I had like two weeks to prepare to be able to play uh, two hours of music. I hadn't been out playing for a, close to a decade, wow. out playing shows and everything. And God, you're only 19. How did that happen? <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know. Jeez. Uh, but you know. It's all, and the rest is history, just getting out there and playing all the time and, and trying to do it. And if it wasn't for you, Tom, there wouldn't even there probably wouldn't even be a compilation or any of that because, you know, I, I was at a, a point in time with music where I had gotten burnt out of playing music like I was before and trying to, like, go after the dream only to find that it just kind of kicks you in the crotch a couple times and everything. <laughs> yeah. So, Tom, yeah, I owe it all to you, man. That was so. definitely our game, you know, and uh, I really enjoyed being a part of this compilation because it gives me a chance uh, I hadn't heard Freddie before and uh, and just being in a small situation like this I mean you know a lot of us when we're out playing we're playing on the same night that right. someone else is playing you might know, know the name or you've heard the name but you haven't heard what they do you know so mm -hmm. it, was, it was really nice to be involved I know I've worked with Chris before I love his playing and just listening to Freddie's uh, songwriting is great as well. So yeah, yeah. So mutual like pre everybody. mutual yeah. appreciation society yeah. definitely. I love yeah. it. And we've got time to squeeze in one more song. Austin, as as the uh, kind of the founder of the feast here, why don't you uh, play one more to to wrap things up here tonight before we, from ten to midnight, uh, send it over to Bob Girth and the Hub. Okay. Um. Let's see. You wanna do? Let's do. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right, so this is one that I wrote after my first wife left me. You no, know, it already sounds like a blues song right there. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just lay it backwards. And it'll come down. <laughs>
walking shoes with souls warm thin. Just trying to figure out this whole mess I'm in. Where you can find your way home Ever since you left me Well, baby When you left my side Oh, I won't end I want to curl up and die But I drown my, my sorrows all tonight Since you left me Problems come Since you left me.